Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Tuesday, November, no, September the 9th. 2014 as always thank you for taking time to watch the video retweet subscribe become a fan do all the good stuff we do on social media so thank you thank you thank you well first of all feeling good today after that full moon I I'm, I'm kind of glad a little rejuvenated um, got a cool message today um, intuitive message development message if you will enlightenment spiritual teaching message um, but numbers first so you know I love my numbers so uh, today is the Tuesday and it's the ninth. This is the ninth day of the ninth month. So there's lots of hermit energy going on today. There's lots of bringing things to a close. Coming off of that full moon yesterday, we got to look a little introspective, connect with our intuition a whole lot more. Feel some emotion and passions yesterday. Um, and then today, we get to make some decisions as we're in this hermit state. You know, what are we going to bring to a close? It's almost like we're behind closed doors. We're making those decisions and then we... Ta-da! Okay, here's what's going to happen, people. And that's how I work. It's probably why I resonate so much with the hermit. I go inside, I ponder, I take time, I think about it, and then I come out and make the announcement. I usually don't go into a hermit state and bring five people with me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. It's like I get in there, me and spirit. And the other night, this, is, this reminded me probably why I resonate again with the hermit so much. And Jamie was asking me on Kim Rinaldi about... Who does she get readings from? Other people. And I don't I don't get a lot of readings. People will always say, do you want to trade? And I usually like, uh, I'll give you a free one. But no, I don't really trade. I don't feel the need often to get readings. Um, and I don't know if that's just because of my direct contact with spirit or I'm allowing myself to work it out. Um, but a reading for me is, is very different than a lot of people. Um, how do I say it? Because I'm trying to put into words what I feel. This all right comes back to the hermit. Because, I, again, I feel that hermit working through things myself. And a lot of people will never get a reading. They'll listen to a psychic trust and work with them, but not like a full-on reading. But I also have a group of people that um, I bounce things off, and they read me just as we go. And in their dialogue, in the universe, in the, the signs and symbols all day long, I'm getting readings. I'm connected. And that's, you know, that's what I hope you guys get. So, way off topic, message came out in the beginning, one of the messages. So, hermit time today. Out of all the numbers today, you get 25, 25 bulls down to number seven. So, seven is that chariot energy, which the entire year has been. Do I need to say what it is again? Quick, fast moving change is often polarized, you know, from, from black to white, right to wrong, left to right, up to down. So, hermit energy of the day, of the month. Uh, seven energy. Oh, Sebastian is here. Of the That's his tail. Hi, buddy of the um, uh, cherry energy. And the card I pulled for today was the seven of, excuse me, the ace of wands. And that is about new beginnings, um, especially of the logical and of the mind. It can often be about cutting things off, ending things um, as well. With that um, hermit energy, that's kind of cool. And with the number nine energy, that, that definitely will work as well. So Sebastian sitting quietly in Bart's chair. Bart usually is right there in the chair. He actually comes in. I have to pull the chair up for him now. And he immediately jumps in it. <clears throat> so can you tell I'm distracted today? So hold on to that energy for yourself today. There may be lots of distractions coming up. Because I usually feel the energy of the day for when I'm doing readings or those I'm working with and for. So the Lenormand for today is going to be one final cut pull the card off the top and that is going to be birds or number 12 12 bulls down to three there's also the seven of diamonds which is seven of coins which is abundance but birds are about communications messages i just saw i just saw resignations with this number nines endings bringing things to a close i saw quick fast speedy i feel like there'll be many of you who will wake up today and go i'm done with that job Psh, write a letter of resignation or write a text of completing things off or right finally responding to an email where you've been putting off because you know it's going to bring it into a friendship relationship some something so definitely communications definitely gossipy things bringing that stuff to an end 
definitely you know lots of little you know gatherings of birds and chipper and chirper and all things back and forth um and actually i'm told to grab the card uh grab my cheat sheet yeah conversations phone calls meetings negotiations couplings um siblings that's what birds can rep represent never really feel that in the, in the sibling part so the tariff for today to go along with all this info that i'm spouting about ah oh, number nine of wands once again thank you very much you saw me cut and shuffle really lining up i really appreciate that nine of wands wands are spiritual creative sexual in nature fire energy but this card as you can see this guy is tired he is tired like tired banks he has done work and there's still some work to be done though but putting this heavy hard work all this communication stuff ace of wands chariot quick fast energy and hermit energy all together and you're tired it's time to bring things to a close i keep feeling like sweat lodge you got into a sweat lodge whew, you come out you're ready to go it was tiring it was rough but it's time to communicate bring things to a close do it quick do it fast go up in your head logically with this ace of swords rather than in your heart right now because if you stay in your heart it's going to probably be more painful <sighs> there's your message for today so all that being said um so last night i got to watch paul paolo coelho on oprah and i tweeted something out because i love what he said he said if you don't fear the unknown the unknown will be kind to you and another quote he said if you don't fear the unknown the unknown will be kind to you so the moment you start fearing what you do not know it could be a rough existence but when you just kind of okay let me walk into whatever this is it will be much more kind to you and then the other thing it's a, one of his famous quotes and i also think waldo emerson ralph waldo emerson quoted this because i kind of saw something similar on a post today which was odd but you know and and many people have said the same thing but the universe is conspiring in your favor the universe will rise up to meet what you are creating co-creating or miscreating so basically it's the law of attraction is what it boils down to in my humble opinion and that is you know what you truly are thinking desiring and attracting the universe is right there ready to do it now the interesting thing is is in my meditation time I just kept feeling and it was it wasn't a feeling of dread or regret but it was like oh my gosh look at what we miss because we're not allowing the universe to assist and help us the power the magnitude and the expansiveness of the universe backing us up you know it's when I look at someone who has and I'm going to use human terms when I look at someone who has millions and millions and and people who you know rule the world and you know conquered whatever sports arena or entertainment world whatever is I think they somehow have this innate ability to get on that universal wave and ride it um, until maybe there's a moment that they get knocked off or their their confidence is shaken mm -hmm. the point is is that that universe is right there ready to conspire ride the wave of the universe all the way home and I started also thinking in my quiet time of how where I am in my quote enlightenment or involvement my parents are not even necessarily there yet they might be in a different way place or form but I don't see that because they're still fighting ego and and human things and I feel like you know and then I look at like a 21 year old like you know like our, our, our cosmic caffeine you know um, uh, crew Brenna and I think wow you know I, I I know I was doing soul searching at 21 but I was still drinking myself in the ground and doing all crazy stuff and I look at her thinking you know they're there she and many others are getting it much faster than us and they're riding that wave much quicker um, and again I love when Wayne Dyer says you know one of our big jobs on this earth is to reach down the mountain grab a hand of somebody and pull them up to the level I am because you know what I'm doing this and somebody's pulling me up and it's like we're getting a faster feel and faster pull up the hill so not only is technology and everything else speeding up but our enlightenment our growth our invo um, uh, involvement in, in, in spiritual things is speeding up as well and I choose to see the high vibration of the world I acknowledge that there is dense heavy low negative ugly evil stuff out there and around there but I'm choosing to 
um, really fuel the high vibration. And when I see the low vibration, I honor it for what it is as, you know, stuff and place where people are growing and they're choosing at a denser, heavier place. Um, for those of you who still watch a lot of news and read a lot of negative things, um, this is where I think protection needs to happen, you know, because that's where, if you're going to call something evil, <laughs> that's the one thing I would say is just how the negativity that is put out there because the world realizes that people continue to feed into that. Um, Andrew Weil, when I, when I went on his diet, I think it was like eight weeks to optimal health. He was like, okay, you're going on a news fast. And I'm like, what the heck is he talking about? So for the first two weeks, I wasn't allowed to watch the news. And then he allowed me a, an hour a week and then two hours a week back in. So it was very interesting because I remember thinking at that point, this makes no sense. And then I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this makes complete sense. So what do you need to fast from and maybe give up entirely? Um, and the moment I say that, what did you go? You know, people think I, I can't live without coffee. I can give this up in a heartbeat. Because spirit is, I check in every once in a while. I think, do I need to stop drinking coffee? And there's like, no, that's one of your enjoyments. Enjoy it. But you know what? One day I do feel like I will give that up. Just like one day I will probably give up, um, you know, a lot of meat and things like that because of how it's processed, cooked, and da da da, et cetera, et cetera. Whole nother story. Now I'm rambling. All right. So thank you for watching, tuning in. It's 11 11, but by the time I add in the front and back, it's more. You guys have an amazing day. IntuitiveMessenger.org. Mary Kay Mitchell 3 and 1 spread is still up. Oh, I don't know if I said this or not, but I know I thought it, and I thought I said it or posted it, but somebody just reminded me in an email today, and I'm going to respond to your email if you see this beforehand, um, about testimonials. If I've ever uh, done, especially a YouTube reading for you, or a Skype or FaceTime reading, and you want to give me a one to five sentence testimonial, um, you can email me at intuitivemitchell at gmail.com, or any way you can get it to me. Just send it to me privately. Put in quotes your one to five sentence um, uh, testimonial, and then the name you want me to use, and then uh, tell me if I'm allowed to tag you on Facebook, or just keep it on my website because um, I'd love to tag you on Facebook or put it on my website and not all of them are going to go up I don't have a lot of space Facebook I can tag a bunch and I, what I would do is probably put one up once a day just so because I know I will often buy a reading or go somewhere because of somebody's recommendation so if you feel you want to get this word out to your people and your friends send me that allow me to tag you on Facebook tweet it etc etc or just say you know keep it simple um, and you can just put your first name and last initial or um, no name and if you want to put your like state city or country that would be great as well so thank you very much have an amazing day I think I've said all I need to say and I'm gonna stay to you stay in high vibration and uh, this video helps you do that bye bye Thank you.